What was that? Did you just try to hypnotize us with subliminals? Maybe. Are you upset? Upset? <laughs> I think I'm in love. Excuse me? Listen, you're a robot, and I'm a robot. You like screwing around with people, and I like screwing around in general. So why don't we just go out for some pasta, a couple of bottles of Merlot, and a little conversation? Are you flirting with me? Let me check my variables. Yep, the flirting flag is set to true. Whoa. I'm kind of drifted off there. Excuse me, I have to take this. Something or someone appears to be exploding back at the lab. You know, I've met a lot of robots, but I don't think I've ever come across one with transdimensional cell phone coverage. Yeah, well, that's the least of Robot Girl secrets. We're not talking crying game secrets, are we? Not even close. Way I hear it, when GLaDOS was plugged in, she went cuckoo bananas and wiped out the scientists that created her. You'd be amazed how many robots do that. And how she haunts the lifeless labs of Aperture Science, performing inhuman experiments on anyone unlucky enough to fall into her mechanical clutches. That. Is. So. Hot. False alarm, everyone. The explosions turned out to be implosions, which are much easier to contain. Did I miss anything? Nope. Nada. Uh-uh. No. You're more emotional than most of the robots I've met. All CL4P TP general purpose robots are equipped with 8th generation emotive resonators, allowing them to mimic a panoply of human emotions, ranging from sarcastic sympathy to wildly unbridled enthusiasm. So you don't actually feel emotions, you just fake them? There's a difference? Uh, let me get back to you on that. Not that I'm complaining, but is it always so quiet in here? The inventory has seen a 23% decline in customers since I was installed as the dealer. I can't imagine why, what with your sunny personality and all. I have several competing hypotheses for this phenomenon, but the most likely one is that the fleeing customers were intimidated by my intelligence. Or maybe they died. That happens a lot when I'm around. Have I mentioned how much I love it when you scare the humans? Does it make me a bad person to say that I'm kind of happy that Claptrap's busted out? Well, you're, you're not really a person. You're more of an anthropomorphic dog thing. Thanks? What Steroid Breath is trying to say is, don't worry about it. Claptrap's a funny, uh, robot, but he can get a little annoying after a while. Like that rabbity thing that keeps popping up over your shoulder. Ho ho ho! Burn! Wait a minute. He isn't that bad compared to the rest of you. If you're enjoying tonight's little slice of Aperture Science, I can arrange a complimentary tour of my facility after the tournament. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Sorry, Max and I don't do factory tours ever since the Handinger's incident. Count me in, honey bits! Hooray! Another malfunctioning robot. Oh, yowza! Did I miss something? Come, quiet. Oh, stop. <laughs> Ugh, friggin' robot humor. She get a room, you two. What's wrong with this room? Haven't you figured it out? The giggles, the whispers? They're rigging the game! I knew it! The genetic life form and disk operating system is physically incapable of cheating, as multiple redundant safeguards have been put in place to... 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 I'm sorry. I couldn't keep that up with a straight face. I cheat all the time, but only with people I care about. Do you want me to care about you? Not cheating, dumbass. They're knocking boots. Whoa, nice job, little guy. Boots? They don't even have feet. I'll explain it to you later. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you? Not a clue, honey ram. Hey, babe, do you know where my action figure cases are? I put them down on level 7. I think they'll look good on the shelves over the acid pits. Who? Good idea. Thanks, sugar bits. Don't mention it. Babe. You're moving in together? Totally! We thought about shacking up on Pandora, but GLaDOS's labs have way more floor space! Also, my facilities don't smell like socks and pizza. Aren't you lovebirds moving a little... quickly? That's cause you fleshburgers don't know how to manage your emotions digitally! When artificial intelligence has fallen in love, the only thing that can slow down the data bust matrimony is Moore's Law and a conservative Supreme Court! Besides... I've never cohabitated before. It will be an interesting experiment. Oh yeah, this is gonna end well. Excuse me, I have to take this. Something or someone appears to be exploding back at the lab. You know, I've met a lot of robots, but I don't think I've ever come across one with transdimensional cell phone coverage. Yeah, well, that's the least of Robot Girl's secrets. 
Is this about our DRAM fetish? Because I'm totally cool with that. Not even close. Way I hear it, when GLaDOS was plugged in, she went cuckoo bananas and wiped out the scientists that created her. You'd be amazed how many robots do that. And now she haunts the lifeless labs of Aperture Science, performing inhuman experiments on anyone unlucky enough to fall into her mechanical clutches. What can I say? My boo loves her science! False alarm, everyone. The explosions turned out to be implosions, which are much easier to contain. Did I miss anything? Nope. Nada. Uh-uh. No. You're more emotional than most of the robots I've met. All CL4P TP general purpose robots are equipped with 8th generation emotive resonators, allowing them to mimic a panoply of human emotions, ranging from sarcastic sympathy to wildly unbridled enthusiasm. So you don't actually feel emotions, you just fake them? Um... Don't worry. I'm faking it too. Does it make me a bad person to say that I'm kind of happy that Claptrap's busted out? Well, you're... You're not really a person. You're more of an anthropomorphic dog thing. Thanks? What Steroid Breath is trying to say is, don't worry about it. Claptrap's a funny, uh, robot, but he can get a little annoying after a while. Like that rabbity thing that keeps popping up over your shoulder. Ho ho ho! Burn! Wait a minute. Do humans usually insult someone's boyfriend in front of their face? Or did you forget I was here? If you're enjoying tonight's little slice of Aperture Science. I can arrange a complimentary tour of my facility after the tournament. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Sorry, Max and I don't do factory tours ever since the Hamdingers incident. You guys should check it out! It's got hot tubs full of slippery blue stuff, and bouncy trampoline things, and it's also got- You're not helping. Clap trap. Yes, schnookums? You left the victory lift up in test chamber 17 last night. Again. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Are you sorry about the 15 test subjects that escaped the facilities, too? Well, maybe I would be, if it weren't for the fact that you spend more time with your test subjects than you do with your boyfriend! You knew what I did for a living when you moved into the labs. I didn't know you did it 24-7! Seriously! It's starting to feel like the only way I get close to you is to slap on a laser and start muttering, There you are. That can be arranged. Flat trap. What? I found a few of your action figures on level 7 after you moved out. They may have gotten acid on them. You broke up? That was fast. It's like I told you, Ash. Relationships move pretty fast when you're in artificial intelligence. One minute, you're picking out wedding cakes. The next, you're carrying a box of melted action figures out of her apartment. Are you okay there, little buddy? I don't know, Sam. It just... <laughs> it just hurts so much. Hachi machi! Check out the chassis on that mainframe! Hey, baby! Wanna take a ride on the clap train? Experiment concluded. Hypothesis confirmed. Love is for morons. Excuse me, I have to take this. Something or someone appears to be exploding back at the lab. You know, I've met a lot of robots, but I don't think I've ever come across one with transdimensional cell phone coverage. Yeah, well, that's the least of Robot Girl's secrets. Is this about her DRAM fetish? Cause I'm totally cool with that. Not even close. Way I hear it, when GLaDOS was plugged in, she went cuckoo bananas and wiped out the scientists that created her. You'd be amazed how many robots do that. And now she haunts the lifeless labs of Aperture Science, performing inhuman experiments on anyone unlucky enough to fall into her mechanical clutches. But her cruelest experiment was on my heart. False alarm, everyone. The explosions turned out to be implosions, which are much easier to contain. Did I miss anything? Nope. Nada. Uh-uh. No. Not that I'm complaining, but is it always so quiet in here? The inventory has seen a 23% decline in customers since I was installed as the dealer. I can't imagine why, what with your sunny personality and all. I have several competing hypotheses for this phenomena, but the most likely one is that the fleeing customers were intimidated by my intelligence. Or maybe they died. That happens a lot when I'm around. Yay! Passive aggressiveness. That never gets tiresome.